Hello, everyone. Welcome to the channel. Today, we're going to tackle a common challenge faced by Malaysian investors interested in the US stock market or cryptocurrency. Converting Malaysian ringgit into US dollars can be quite a hassle, as many brokers and exchanges like Interactive Brokers, Mumu, Binance, Huobi, and others don't support MYR deposits. But fear not. In this video, I'll introduce you to an incredible app called WISE that makes converting MYR into any currency, including USD, a breeze. Not only that, WISE is also a supported payment method for various investment platforms, including all the ones I mentioned earlier. So not only can it help you easily convert your money, but it also simplifies depositing funds into your investment accounts. Plus, when it comes to conversion fees, WISE offers one of the best rates and lowest fee in the market, especially when compared to banks. With support for over 50 currencies and the ability to send and receive money from over 70 countries, WISE truly has you covered. But before we delve into the details, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with our investment and financial content. Now, let's jump right into the world of WISE. First things first, if you don't have a WISE account yet, you'll need to register. To enjoy a fee-free transfer up to 2,500 ringgit, use the registration link in the video description below. Simply enter your email address to kickstart the registration process. Choose the Personal Account option and select Malaysia. Tap on Continue, enter your phone number to receive a verification code, and set your account password. Congratulations! You have successfully registered your WISE account. Tap on Decide Later to access the main page of WISE. If you prefer, you can also download the WISE mobile app, which offers the same features. Now, let's open the app and log in with your newly created account. New users, make sure to have your IC card ready and complete the identity verification process to avoid any issues down the line. Once logged in, you'll see the app's main page. As you can see, I already have several wallets with different currencies created. To add a new wallet, tap on Open, choose Balance, and select the currency you want, like British Pound. And there you have it, a new wallet. I recommend creating a wallet for MYR as well, giving you the option to deposit funds in either MYR or other currencies. When it comes to deposits, you can choose to deposit MYR from your bank into your MYR wallet and then convert it into another currency, or you can deposit directly into a wallet of another currency. My recommendation is to deposit with MYR then, you can convert it to the desired currency to save some fee. To deposit into your MYR wallet, tap on the wallet, select Add, enter the deposit amount, choose to pay in Ringgit, and select FPX Banking for instant transfer. Choose your bank, and proceed to complete the transaction. Once you see the confirmation page, your deposit into WISE is successful. Now, to convert Ringgit into US dollars, tap on your MYR wallet, select Convert, enter the conversion amount, or tap on the balance amount to convert the entire balance. Make sure to choose USD as the target currency. The app will display the conversion fee, which is calculated based on the amount and current conversion rate. Once confirmed, proceed with the conversion. Voila! I now have the money in my USD wallet. Alternatively, you can choose to deposit directly into the wallet of the desired currency to skip the conversion step. Tap on the wallet you want, such as the USD wallet in my case, select Add, enter the deposit amount in USD, and choose to pay in Ringgit. Just like the previous method, the app will display the fee and conversion rate. However, you'll notice that the fee is slightly higher, compared to depositing in Ringgit and then converting manually. Tap on Continue to proceed with the transaction, similar to the previous method. In case you need to provide your bank details to verify account ownership, you can easily obtain proof by tapping on the wallet, select More, and choose Get Proof of Account Details. Here, you'll find the proof you can provide to the required party. You can also view your account details by tapping on the account number. If you want to send money to others, select the wallet, tap on Send, choose Add New Recipient, and select Someone Else. Choose the currency you want to send, then enter the recipient's details accordingly. If you're sending money to an otherwise account, simply enter the recipient's email to locate their account. Confirm the recipient's name and details, enter the amount to send, and you're all set. As an example, here's a previous transfer I made. 
Since it was a wise-to-wise -wise transfer in the same currency, there was no fee involved. You can also download the transaction receipt for your records. Similar to sending money, you can withdraw funds by sending them to your own bank account. The only difference is selecting myself instead of someone else and filling in your own bank account details. Here's an example of a previous withdrawal I made. There is a fee for transferring to a bank account, but the good news is that the fee remains fixed regardless of the transfer amount, so it won't become more expensive as the amount increases. To summarize, here are the advantages of using WISE. Low transaction fees. Supported by many brokers and exchanges. You can directly add WISE as a payment method in interactive brokers and Moomoo for deposits, and easily perform P2P trading on platforms like Binance and Huobi with WISE. And now for the disadvantages. Although the fees are low, there are still fees involved. WISE imposes a total account limit of 20,000 regardless of the currency and wallet. I hope this video provides you with clear instructions on how to comfortably use WISE. Remember, new users can enjoy up to 2,500 ringgit fee-free transfers by signing up using the link in the video description. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to support the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.